You need not do this, child. I know. But I want to. This madness. Such a young lass. Ernie should be the one going. They shared a bed longer. Silence. It is her decision. You look beautiful. Thank you. Nice to see you again. The eulogy. King Bran of Clan Twirsech has embarked on his final voyage. At its end, our glorious ancestors await him. Together they will hunt and raid. They will sit round the fire and praise the deeds of ages past. For now, he lives in our hearts. One day, we too shall stand at his side and face the sea together. That will be a good day. You knew Bran? Yes. He was well respected. Unlike his wife. Skellige is its clans. In times of war, tradition holds the clans unite under the leadership of their king. We bid Bran farewell. Time to pick his successor who will lead us against the Black Ones. The gates? of Caer Troll stand open to all who hail Bran of Clan Twirsach, dear. Mead and meat will be plentiful. During the wake, those who believe themselves worthy of the crown will step forth. Come to the wake with me. Gladly. Feasts in Skellige, so predictable. Slobbering drunks, brazen boasting, and the inevitable rows that result. Yeah, nothing like the banquets mages attend. Remember the one on Thanet? You were there. How could I forget? I also remember excruciatingly well what happened after the banquet. Reading my mind again? Hmm. What's more, I like what I see. Did you learn anything in Velen? How about you? What have you learned? Something strange happened on Ard Skellig a time ago. A disaster brought about by a burst of magic. Extraordinary, really. Natural anomaly. Never seen anything like it. My intuition tells me Syria was its cause. As much as I respect your intuition, Yen, we need something specific. Evidence. I'd know for certain if I was able to inspect the disaster zone. Unfortunately, Ermion and his druids aren't letting anyone near. 
So why won't Ermion let you inspect the area of the anomaly? Call it a difference of opinion. A large, loud difference. Look, it's Krach. Wait, Wolf! Greetings, Krach. I shall see you at the wake. And I'll not accept any excuses. I've an important matter to discuss with you. I shall wear black and white for the feast. I count on you to don something complimentary. Something that doesn't reek of a thousand hunts. Yen, you know I can't stand new doublets. Just too tight till you break them in. And just like Krak, I'll not accept any excuses. We're not here to enjoy ourselves. We've matters to resolve and should dress appropriately. I've rented a room at the inn. Took the liberty of laying out some clothes for you there. You ought to go. Choose something. In the meantime, I've something to attend to. We'll meet at the entrance to the feast hall. Wonder if he's as strong as he looks. Friends we show heart, foes we show heart. a worthy successor. You speak as though you have someone in mind. Skellige's troubles very much derive from it not being a hereditary monarchy. Any upstart can be king and destroy his predecessor's legacy. The King of the Isles is a more symbolic position. That should change as well. A strong leader who wields true power. That is what the times require. Me. This is my friend Geralt, and this is Berna, widow of the dear departed Bran. The Queen Mother. It's a pleasure to meet you, Geralt. You must forgive me, but on a day like today, I'm afraid I cannot indulge in my penchant for long conversations. I can see you chose your own outfit. You know, of course, that together we look about as good as lace frills on a battle axe. Everyone's got their style. We should mingle before they all get drunk. There'll be no talking to anyone then. Good thinking. I don't know what Krak wants, but when we meet with him we should have clear minds. I'm not gonna drink. Why dull my senses when I'm in such pleasant company? Do you plan to compliment me all evening? I plan to tell you what I think. What have you brought for the farewell feast? Bread, sheep's milk cheese. Our wagon's full of loot we ripped from the black ones. We've also wine from the temple. Geralt, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. <clears throat> Your beard. Why did you decide to grow it out? Don't really know. 
Hmm. Must say it suits you. Look at sword. You're back. Lady Yennefer. Sir. Greetings, Arnvald. My companion is Geralt of Rivia. I am honored. We wanted to talk to Croc on Crate. The Jarl will join us shortly. He's assigned you a place of honor at the table just beside his daughter, Ceres. Follow me, please. They've seated us here. I asked them to. Wanted to meet the notorious Witcher Geralt. We've met. Don't remember? That was ages ago. Yalmer and I were children when you last visited Orda. But you should meet your feast mates. Allow me the dubious honor. That's Halbjorn, son of Holger Blackhand, Blue Boy Lugus, Madman Lugus' firstborn, and choking down a stockfish over there is Otric on Hindar. Forgive me, I remember our meeting all those years ago, but I don't recall your name. Ceres on Crate. Crack, her da, and her big brother Yalmer call a Sparrowhawk. A Yal's daughter she is. Fat lot of good it does her. Ceres is jealous, for the one among us who performs the greatest feat will be crowned king. <laughs> we all know the feats are a sideshow. Our fathers will choose who will wear the crown. What do you think they spoke to Crack about? You talk like that because you're short of strength and skill. Remember when Hjalmar challenged us all to a race up the mount? You didn't stand with us then. As he buried his axe in that stump at the top to mark his victory, you were warming your chicken bones by the fire. Had my reasons for not participating, but I would have won then, as I'd win now. Hmm, now that you mention him, just noticed Hjalmar's not here. My brother walks his own paths. But about the race, why don't we repeat it? I'm willing to challenge any of you, Witcher included. If I beat him to the top, venture to say that'll be a feat, eh? So you're in. If the Witcher's in. Geralt? Gladly. What are the rules? Whoever pulls Hjalmar's axe from the stump at the top of the hill wins. Stray off the path and you lose. And here I was, ready to puke from all the boredom. Let's go! We're here. From this spot, you must reach the top of that mount. At the summit, you'll see the stump of an oak. Yalma's axe buried in it. Whoever pulls the axe from the stump first, wins. I'm ready. You'll start when I sound the horn. One, but only by a hair. No such thing. There's winning and there's losing, and I lost. We best go back to the weak. Let's.
See the wakes in full swing. Lost sight of yous. Who won? I lost. Lost to a witcher, Sparrowhawk. That would likely happen to any of us. Enough of the nather and let's drink. Can't today, for good reason, believe me. But if not today, then when? You've been great company. Sadly, it's time we moved on. Really? Indeed. We must talk, but not here. You shall learn all beyond that door. My god, we died a hero. Face three black ones alone. Careful now. Feast the care trolled are legendary. Axe tossing. Tamed bears. Young shot. Tell me who goes. Allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. Geralt, Jarl Dona and Hinder, and Jarl Madman Lugos. Calling Lugos a madman's an insult to madmen. He's a common goat fucker. Call me a goat fucker one more time, and I'll chop off your head, stick it on a pike, and piss down your neck hole. Enough! Time to settle this. Here and now. Oh, ha ha ha! Giving me a true freight right now. Shat my best trousers. Put that away before you cut yourself, you cunt. Thought Skelligers called a truce for feasts. I know the hallowed customs. But Lugos ought to know that I'll not let him raid my Hindus Fial bear. You don't scare anyone, Donor. I'll be boy soon to plough your priestesses, drink from your tankard, and shit on your table. Be sure to leave a candle lit for me. Emperor would be very pleased to hear you quarrel. His Imperial Majesty is more than welcome to visit. Let him sail over here. We ain't afraid of the Black Ones. Raiding coastal villages is one thing, total war with the Empire is another. Awfully melty, this one! Go stir your cauldron and pierce some boils, witch! Don't talk when you haven't got a fucking clue! Know what, Lugos? Just realized I don't give a damn about your hallowed rules of hospitality. Finally, some diversion! And here I was, ready to puke from all the boredom. Come on, freak! Show us what you're made of! Move the benches! There's to be some gob slapping! I'll rip your doolies out, maggot! Good. That were quite a wallop. Still seeing spots, room, rocking like a leaky tub in a hurricane. We'll call it even then, as soon as you apologize to the lady. Don't hold it against me, my lady. It's my deep conviction sorceresses are needed. Deeply so. No offense taken. Forget about it. That I like. And the knocking. It's what men do. Give me your poor witcher. Let me squeeze. It's a worthy one. Witcher, have a drink with me. Proof there's no hard feelings. And visit me at times, I insist. Yaren's been jabbering about bringing in a witcher for that haunted lighthouse. Do me a favor. Meet him for an ale in the tavern near Arenbjorn. Then you but a short jaunt to find me, so as we can knock back something stronger. Here's to our next. Sure. I'll knock one back with you, Lugos. Drink like you fight, and we're in for a good time. Tabran! Yennefer and I'd be honored. Here's to your health. 
Forgive us. We should mingle and talk to some of the other guests. What now? Now we pay a visit to Ermion's laboratory. Did you been invited? Because we've not been. Take it Ermion won't be there. That's right. And what's the purpose of this visit? We're looking for an object. The Mask of Erberos. We'll need it. Come, Geralt. Now you'll tell me why you need this mask. Oh, I shall. In due course. Take it you'll decide when. Correct. Hide behind the tapestry. Sparrows chip, while starlings chirp. What do jackdaws do? Jackdaws caw. Goldfinches warble, and cranes whoop. Whereas peacocks screech. Hawks scream, larks trill, and doves, they coo. That's all of them. Hmm. What about nightingales? All right. Nightingales croon. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> This'll be tough to open. Surprises never end. See the ravens? Hard not to. Ermion's spies. An indication that we're near his laboratory. I also sense a clear magic aura. Come. There's a ledge outside this window. We must pass along it. Seen uglier sights in my life. Geralt of Rivia, being romantic. Amazing how a hobby can render a man mysterious, fascinating. Especially a druid. Must be a real nature lover. Add one at Kaer Morin. <sighs> Please. Looks alive. Looks alive. Looks alive. Looks alive. Had one at Care Morin. <sighs> Please. A basin of water? For teleprojection. A reflection of Ermion appears on the surface. Supplicants speak to it.
The hunter'd lose an arrow if he saw that in the woods. Looks alive. Ah. Are you all right? Cut myself. The door is locked. The animals, they're alive. Yen, watch out. Monsters. Coming closer. They're everywhere. Time to end this. That's one less. Smells of mushrooms in the air. No. My mind is the center What's happening? You were hallucinating. You ran at Ermion's animals, sword flailing. I had to calm you. Uh, must have looked strange. Your years of vigorous training at Kaer Morhen finally paid off. Bested nearly all the stuffed beasts in here. Please. <laughs> Fine. We've passed the trial of taxidermy. The door stands open. Let's go inside, Geralt. I'll lock the entrance. We don't want to raise suspicions. Ah, our dear druid's laboratory. We must search it thoroughly. The Mask of Erberos must be here. Wondrous world of insect- Letter bearing Ermian's seal to the druids.